So without further ado, again, thanks for the for joining the Newt Mobile App Explore and Learn session. Hope everybody's staying safe and, and doing well. Um, I'll be your facilitator today. My name is Philip May, and uh, here is a little picture of the Newt Mobile application on, on an Android device. We are going to be going through this today, and um, for any system administrators that need to add on new Newt Mobile applications in the future, um, and you want to purchase more licenses for your staff, you can uh, email newtmac at fibernetics.ca or talk with your sales rep report project coordinator and we can always get new new mobile application licenses in the future for you guys. So again, thanks for joining. Just a couple of quick reminders. Um, everybody's on mute on the session today and for any questions, um, we're gonna use the parking lot method. So any questions you come up with throughout our session today, just I ask that you just jot them down or, or remember them if you have a better memory than me. And you can use the chat or question tool um, or come off of mute at the end of the session today. So I appreciate that. Um, and I will be looking to the chat at the end of the session today. Also, uh, we are recording this session um, for, for future use. So just to be aware of that. And on the GoToMeeting, uh, which we're using for the webinar portion of this, um, there is a screenshot feature at the top where you can screenshot any portion of this recording today or this webinar today. Um, like I'd said, my name is Philip May. I'm a lead training specialist with the Newt Division of Fibernetics, your new phone system provider. And um, I've been with Newt for going on about eight years. So I've been able to work with a lot of our customers implementing um, the Newt PBX phone system. And today's resources that we're gonna be using and focusing on are the Newt Mobile User Guide, as well as the Newt Mobile application. We're gonna head over to a, an instructor-led uh, demonstration and I'm going to um, cast my phone on the screen here so that you guys will be able to you or be able to view uh, the new mobile application. So I'm just going to do that now and just give me one second and we'll go through the go through the the demonstration. So as you can see here, um, I am on the Android platform and the Android platform, um, once you um, will look very similar to the, the iOS platform um, or sorry, the mobile application uh, icon will look very similar on iOS or Android. This in particular is the Android uh, device and we will be reviewing the user guide and installations just, just uh, after I go through the demonstration. So in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, you're gonna see a little uh, lizard or a newt and that's the icon for the Newt mobile application. You'll see the loading screen uh, where it says Newt and Beyond Telecom, and it will bring you into a dial pad. So this is your landing spot when you launch the Newt mobile. And you'll see like a lot of other devices or other applications or your, um, or your standard default phone application, it's got a standard keypad. On the standard keypad, you'll be able to dial 10 digit phone numbers and then press the green dial key at the bottom of the new mobile app. Once you make a phone call, it'll bring you into a call screen. And I'll go through more of the in-call features in just a second. Now, what this is, is gonna be, um, enable you to do is also dial three or four digit extensions, depending on your organization. So um, if you're using the 100 or 200 series or 300 series extensions, for instance, you can dial an extension within your organization directly. So the new mobile application, you will have an extension attached to this and you'll be able to extension dial within your organization, as well as make outbound calls to 10 digit, 10 digit phone numbers. Now these 10 digit phone numbers, when you dial them, they will see your business caller ID. You can also backspace and remove any type of errors. Or when you're dialing a 10 digit phone number, you can also add to your contacts by pressing the add to contacts button. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see it says Newt Mobile, and that's actually a button. When I press that, it will tell you if your Newt Mobile application is registered. If it doesn't say registered, there may be an issue that we need to look at. If all is well, it'll say registered, and right below registered, it'll tell you if you have any voicemail. So if you are using the Newt Mobile application, um, to check and manage your voicemail, it will actually show you how many voicemails you have. On the bottom, you'll see immediate do not disturb. 
So you can actually set your extension new mobile app to do not disturb, just like any other phone in your office, just in case you're in a meeting or a sales call or a sales meeting, um, any new calls to your extension won't alert your phone. And just to let you know, if I do suspend the, uh, the application or close the application, if your phone has the correct uh, permission set within the Android or iOS platform um, to enable push notifications, which will it will ask you when you first register, then you will still get calls if your if your application is suspended or closed. Along the top of the Newt Mobile, you'll see it's pretty straightforward laid out. On the far left hand side, you'll see the little uh, phone receiver with a little arrow. So right here on the left. And you'll see that I have a pre-populated um, contact list. Now this contact list, I, I actually created. So you will see um, this contact list maybe as blank when you first register the app. Now you can add or call any, anyone in this, in this contact list. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see the three dots. And if you click that, you can reorganize into a grid mode you can import favorites from your from your phone itself, or you can go into edit mode, where you can add at the bottom right-hand corner a new contact or edit an existing contact that you may have. Now these contacts, I, you'll see off call on the right-hand side. So these contacts are actually other extensions within my organization. So if I go to Jason, I can edit, and you'll see that there is a three-digit extension number as that person's contact. And then busy lamp field at the bottom, if you toggle this little slider, this actually will tell you if that person's on the phone or not. Along the top right-hand corner, you can add a picture, you can remove the, the contact altogether, or press the check mark to save. Okay, so these, these are all different um, contacts within my organization. Again, the, the three buttons at the top, or the three dots at the top right-hand corner um, will allow you to edit that or add new or edit your existing contacts. The little clock with the arrow around it is your second uh, menu option. This is your received, missed, and placed phone calls. As well, this is where it, um, your recorded calls, if you do record your calls, will be housed. So you'll see any type of uh, missed calls or received calls. Really, it's your call history you can go through and if you click on the call, you can dial that person back. So if I can click on 101, it will ring 101 and place that phone call, as well as any other phone number that you may have received. In the top right-hand corner, if you select where it says all calls, you'll see all calls, missed calls, and recorded calls. So you can, you can filter through what type of calls that you wanna see in your call history. Now your recorded calls, this will only show calls that you've actually recorded through the, the phone. And your system administrator can, can uh, let you know if, if they want you to be recording calls or not, but by default, they are not recorded. The third option is um, a contact book. So these are, are greater than your quick dials where you can add extensions within your office and see if they're on the phone or not. This is actually your contacts that can be imported through by your, uh, from your phone. So when you first install the Newt mobile app, it'll come up with standard application permissions. Um, if you typically download and install an app, it'll ask you, hey, can I use the GPS? Um, can I use your location? Can I upload your contacts? Can I make and receive calls? That kind of stuff. You'll, you'll want to grant application uh, permissions to make and receive phone calls to use the audio um, for your device. And you have the option whether you deny or allow the contacts. Please keep in mind that if you allow the contacts, it will upload all of your contacts from your, your device. So if you're using your personal device and you have lots of contacts and you don't want them in the new mobile app, you can deny that permission. And you'll see that if you've denied the permission that it will the contact and area will look like this. So this little head at the top will be primarily for your contacts that you've imported 
from your cell phone. Okay. Now you can, um, if you did hit deny, you can access or grant access to the contacts at a later date as well. Then um, when you open the app and the landing page is on your keypad, which we've looked at, and on the far right hand side, there's a little globe, which just takes you to the Newt website. So this might be some future deployments of features and things like that, but right now it just takes you to our website and then a little chat icon in the bottom right hand corner to chat with our support team. At any point in time in the top right hand corner, um, you can tap, you can hit the little three dots at the right hand, hand, hand side to go to your settings or to refresh your app. The settings, um, you may not be in here all too often, but you if you, for some reason, um, didn't scan the QR code properly or you input your credentials, login, username, and password incorrectly, you can go to account setup and you can put in, re-put in your username and password. You can also change the incoming call push notifications. If the incoming calls push notifications is off, when your app is not on or it is suspended or, or you've exited the app, you won't get your calls coming in. So make sure that the push notifications is on. There's also preferences as well, where you can change, change the ringtone of the incoming calls. And just like most iOS and Android phones, you can see all of the different ringtones in here, test them, and then change the ringtone. So if I wanted to use the global setting um, that is on the phone system, I could, but I could also maybe change it to, to Aqua. Once I select what I'd like, I can select OK. The call recording feature here, you can set to record all your calls, but just remember, this is not going to record the calls on the phone system. It just would record calls um, just like your, norm, your normal iOS or Android phone uh, application, um, it would record calls to your local storage. So it's all the recording is off by default. And just to let you know. There are some other networks, network settings and things like that. There's also call forwarding within the app where you can call forward your extension. Um, and then so troubleshooting log, the, the, the language. And some other things that uh, like DNS lookup and controls that would only be used by an IT professional or our technical support. You can also take, like, take a look at the information about the app, as well as the usage of the app as well. Talk times, call counts, and all that kind of stuff if you want to track that information. Or you can hit the reset button and it'll reset all the stats. At the very bottom right, uh, sorry, the bottom of the corner, you can reset application or refresh the application, which re would require you to put in your credentials again. So that's the basic overview of the new to mobile guide. If you're um, selecting the menus of, among the, or sorry, along the top of the app, you can also swipe. Swiping right on the screen or swiping left on the screen will get you through the different, um, the different menu options. Okay, so I'm going to go into uh, making phone calls and what you can do while making a phone call um, on the new mobile app. So just give me one second. I'm going to type in a phone number and I'm going to press the green button to make that phone call. Remember, that can be an extension um, or a 10-digit phone number. So I am, um, I am on an active phone call and you'll see the different options you get while you're on a call. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see that the call has been established. The, the network quality and voice quality, um, and also the uh, the elapsed time of the call. On the left-hand side, you'll see a little uh, house icon, which will bring you back to your home of your application while you're in a call. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see a little microphone with a slash through it, which will enable you to mute your phone call, and then the speakerphone icon to Thank the right, you for calling Cybernetics Corporation. which will put that call on speakerphone. If you press the little information I at the top right hand corner, sorry, this is where it says signal strength and the call state and some technical information about the call, should you ever need it. Then you're going to be able to um, see the, the action or the features within the phone call. You'll see the keypad, which will allow you to dial another phone call. The hold button, which would put your caller on hold and they would hear on hold music that streams from your phone system. You'll see the record button, which you can activate a call recording. And you'll see that it beeps, or hear that it beeps, and you'll see that it flashes red if you do have a call recording. If I select it again, it'll stop the call recording, 
remember if you do have have to record calls it will record or sorry will store all recorded calls on your device storage on the bottom you'll see transfer add call and att transfer on the left where it says transfer if i press that button that will allow me to transfer to another extension within my organization so i can type in 222 and press the call button to complete the transfer or i can cancel the transfer at the top if i press add call this will allow me to do a three-way conference call with another extension so if i add in an, um, another extension and i want to add in extension 123 then i can do so or I can hit attended transfer. Just gonna end the call briefly, just one second here. I'm gonna get ourselves back on that call to show you the attended transfer option. Okay, so I'm back on a, an active and live phone call. So the three buttons again along the bottom are your transfer, which is a straight transfer. Okay, so uh, what's called a blind transfer. If you press that transfer button, dial in the extension or phone number, it's gonna transfer that call to that user and it's gonna disconnect you from the call. When you hit add call, it'll bring another participant into your phone call. If I hit attended transfer, it'll allow me to actually intro the transfer before I complete it. So if I wanna to transfer to extension 691 and I press the, the, the call key, I can talk to the person at extension 691 before I execute the transfer. And at any point in time, if you wanna exit the phone call, you would just hit end call at the bottom here. So those are the features and that's a, um, a demonstration of the Newt mobile application. I'm gonna close the new mobile application and I'm gonna go back to the, the PowerPoint presentation here for a second. And uh, just for uh, the system administrators, I have uh, in the PowerPoint presentation, it does go through um, screenshots of the new mobile and the different things that you can do. Um, this is the iOS version, and what I showed you was the Newt uh, mobile on Android. So it, you can see that it looks a little bit different um, in how it, the application has been designed, but it's still very, very similar. Some of the colors are a little tiny bit different, um, whereas in the iOS version here, um, it's black as opposed to white on the Android version. But you still get the transfer, add call, attended transfer, all the buttons are all in the same place and you'll have uh, all the same functionality, okay? So before we actually get into the questions, I'm going to bring up the Newt Mobile User Guide. I'm gonna bring that up here, just one second. Now, the Newt Mobile User Guide, if you do have it, um, it, it uh, if you don't have it, sorry, will be sent by your system administrator. And I wanted to focus your attention to, to page number eight, and page number eight goes through installing the mobile client. So it does give you the links to the iOS um, Apple Store as well as the Android Google Play Store. Um, if you don't get the link in your email, which would give you a link to this, then you can get to um, these apps through your, the respective stores. And in the user guide, it just kind of gives you some de device requirements. Um, if you are using iOS, it does need uh, iOS 9.0 or later, and the Android would need uh, OS uh, 4.2 or greater. It also gives you some information about how, um, how it affects bandwidth within your phone system for each phone call. And we'll take you through a little tutorial on uh, what the email will look like. So you should look out for an email that looks like this from no reply at fibernetics.ca, and it'll give you a QR code and the inst instructions on how to install the application. Okay, so you can go through this um, if you need, need any assistance. It's also a very comprehensive guide where it will go through every single scenario um, and applications, um, or sorry, application uh, features. So it's a really good resource with a lot of screenshots um, if you want to, uh, want to review that. So that is the, the new mobile application. That is the, the user guide um, as a, 
uh, as a resource for you guys. Um, at this point in time, um, I'm going to take you guys off of mute and uh, answer any questions that you may have about the new mobile.